In quantum mechanics, obtaining information from a quantum state, it's called performing a measurement. But unlike classical systems, where we can directly observe the state of a bit as either 0 or 1, qubits behave differently. A qubit can exist in a superposition, a state that's a combination of 0 and 1 at the same time. However, when we measure a qubit, we don't see this superposition. Instead, the act of measuring forces the qubit to collapse into one of these two possible states, either 0 or 1. Once a qubit collapses to a certain state after a measurement, it stays there. For example, if you measure a qubit and get 0, any further measurements of that same qubit will continue to show 0. But what's interesting is that the result of each measurement is random. The outcome follows the probabilities dictated by quantum mechanics. If a qubit is in the general state of the block sphere, the probability of measuring 0 is alpha squared and the probability of measuring 1 is beta squared. These probabilities always add up to 1 because the qubit must be in one of these two states when measured. The complex numbers alpha and beta not only determine these probabilities, but also contain information about the phase of the quantum state, represented by the angle on the block sphere. While we can't directly observe this phase through measurement, it plays a crucial role in many quantum algorithms.